Hampshire beat Gloucestershire to qualify for Division 1. After 11 rounds, 43 scheduled days of play, thousands of runs and hundreds of wickets, it's crunch time for Hampshire and Gloucestershire. Only one can qualify for Division 1, Division 2 awaits the other. The formula is simple, seven wickets needed for the visitors, the hosts have to bat out the final day of the group stage. Hampshire landed the first blow through Colin de Grandom, Phillips trapped in front in the first over of the day. There was a sense that if the hosts were going to pull this off, Lace would have to play a key role, and he looked good early in the innings, 50 up for the number 4 with a boundary off to Grondon. He and Higgins chipped away at the target, their deficit into double figures when the total reached 158. The fifth wicket duo had put on 50 together and halted Hampshire in their tracks, the visitors couldn't afford to get bogged down by these two. And they continued to frustrate, the partnership up into the 90s along with Lace's score, and the deficit now down into the 50s. But that's where their stand was finally broken by Barker. Higgins caught in the slip by de Grandom. Could Hampshire use the momentum? The hosts managed to preserve their wickets through to lunch with the score 205 for 5. They needed just 52 to make Hampshire bat again. The game was delicately poised. Laced wasted little time after the break, Gloucestershire keen to find parity and at least have Hampshire starting to think about batting. And his approach brought him a hundred. A boundary guided down to third man took him to the mark. Hampshire left scratching their heads. They pushed past 250 and soon they found themselves a slender lead. That's where Taylor's innings came to an end, bowled by Abbott for 27. Weatherly picked up the wicket they'd been desperate for. Tom Lace's resistance at an end LBW for 118 when he let the delivery hit him on the knee roll. Price brothers Ollie and Tom held their nerve, the score up to 300 on their watch and the lead now starting to head towards 50. It was 45 at tee, but the hosts had just three wickets in hand. It was going to be a nervy final session. Crane saw the back of Ollie Price, caught by Prest for 23 after the break. Taylor then fell to wheel, LBW for a two-ball duck, just one wicket left for Gloucestershire. And Worrell wouldn't last long, out for a duck, caught by Crane off wheel, and the hosts all out for 310, the target for Hampshire to win, 54. Gloucestershire surely heading for defeat. Despite the low target, Hampshire got off to a nervy start, Weatherly out just two balls into the innings. Ian Holland would get them off the mark and took them into double figures, but he'd lose his partner, also about LBW, to give Worrell another. And the Aussie had a third, Holland two trapped in front. But Gubbins and de Grandom didn't need many and made no mistake in getting them. A bit of a wobble en route, but the all-important win sealed when Gubbins found the boundary off Worrell, a fitting player to win it for Hampshire after his day three heroics. The result is deeply disappointing for the hosts, their goal at the start of the week, just to avoid defeat to qualify for Division 1. The result means Hampshire will instead take their place alongside Lancashire, Yorkshire, Somerset, Warwickshire and Nottinghamshire in Division 1, while Gloucestershire will renew their rivalry, joining Glamorgan in Division 2.